good. Second try. And that works. So that it's much better. Now it's protected and I have to do it at four places. I have no idea how to go to the foreship <laughs> and crawl anywhere there. <laughs> so that is narrow, very, very tidy. Okay, let me see, but probably it works. <sighs> Finally done. So fully you can see both. Let me zoom. And you see it? That's great. Uh, don't be stupid. So the first one, I really made myself super slim and critched through this. And then I remembered uh, I can do this on a four deck. <laughs> just going into our cabin, open the window and just get a long arm and then everything done. That's good. So now we just make some order and start with the shop power. <laughs> with some light, let me see, we have some space here and that seems actually fitting to where I want to put it and I need to turn it a little bit so that I can see it and that do not look bad if we would make it in here the other part is I have so much space I actually like it uh, also the space for the new battery which is 105 amp power is also there so now I will be surprised if that fits because I need to care that I do not drill into those cable. I've removed uh, the ceiling. So a good part is I do not need a compound and um, I was worried because with this temperature I couldn't actually use it. The diameter is on the compound around 8.5 centimeters. So if I look here, that is nine, so it's a little smaller. If I put this on, see, it's just missing on each, each side, probably one and a half millimeters. That's good. So that makes it easier to drill it in. <clears throat> so I said it should be, should be around here. And that's a pretty nice, nice space. That's what I'm going to do. So I drill a hole first just here in the middle to see where the cable are because then I can drill carefully everything out. The thing is I need to exactly hit this which is in diameter uh, say four point something centimeters four point something and that will be hopefully going well. <laughs> Good let's try it. <clears throat> I think this height is actually perfect and it's in the middle. So I draw a line outside here. That one is there. Now I need to measure a little and actually try to figure out where the middle is. So. That's the easiest part. Yeah, seems like here. Yeah. But it's not actually the middle. So, seven and eight, it's here. And once more, it's here. So that's where it comes. That's nicely. And I think that matches to what I want because of if it's if it's actually sitting here on top like this, then we have enough space um, to cable it. That's good. You're not hanging. Even if you put water on, that would be too low. And for sure, you don't want to put it high because we need to just have the cable and some space inside. What I am a little, little worried is because of the length. That's what I'm going to measure quickly and verify if that matches inside. So from here to here, 
that's a little more than 5.8 5.8 centimeters let me see if that matches inside yeah. i think it's a little change of plan because i have six centimeters and that would be a bit a little bit tight to actually get the cable in um other option is actually here so not that convenient if you sit there uh, on top there's also a possibility but you shouldn't make it uh, anyhow there that's also not what i want i think it's <laughs> let me show here so this is a much better idea because if i put it here i can go with the cable below there and hide it anyway there is already one so i by the way need even to remove the wood because the electrical panel is in in here and that isn't that bad the, this idea is good i was also considering actually making it here but it's also too too narrow also can't work so that's why yeah i always need to change something i have removed the panel and that that that, that is the electricity It, it's I I miss words. <sighs> That's a pure nightmare. I mean, as I said, I studied electrical engineering, and I have that education. But I haven't seen this. That 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 that's what 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 are these two blues either there? <laughs> oh God. Okay. Luckily, I bought something proper and. It seems like much, much more work than I actually expected. So everything else, it's hiding inside here, which is good. That goes directly. Anyhow, here, as we have seen before. So that means like I need to build distribution anywhere. Maybe here's some distribution, even for the charger and, oh yeah. I am not that happy because I thought they do this one proper. Okay, <laughs> that was the first idea. This was the second idea, but it's a nightmare. Do it on and look nice, especially because of 230 volts that's open. And inside you don't want to have that one sitting here. So that's not good. Here with this chaos, no space, but here it's a nice drawer and what you can actually see there there is uh, just something to cover i don't know why they put it like that it's not what i want so i'm moving that yeah let me show you actually this thing oops this thing was in here like like that so like this now i'm going to move it and make this a little smaller if this is a little smaller everything else fits in here and there it's a nice hole so that's perfect for the cable now i have it and now i can start i'm preparing the tools so i have to remove first everything and next is measuring which one fits and i believe it's this so you see that that's good so now i bring it back in to see how it was in you squeeze it a little and then you just turn it done so that's it and next is i'm going to drill like this good let's try it Good, that works. Now there's one more thing important. And I have this here. So I drilled it because of, <clears throat> I want to know where to put the tape. Because we need to drill this carefully. So, yep, yeah, stucking already. 
teman-teman Good. Now it's done. Now we try. Okay, that one just was done. Yeah, this do not look good. Yeah, <laughs> what you actually can see. That's it, done for today. <laughs> ah, what to say? <laughs> uh, session for today ended. That thing, this uh, screwdriver is 15 years. And it has done a lot of things within the past 15 years. I mean, it's sad, doesn't help. It looks dirty. So I'm going to clean and next weekend is the day where I have to cable. Uh, yeah, can always be happen. I'm not that sad because <laughs> I wanted to upgrade to some professional machines. And I think especially for uh, this machines, you should choose the blue one. Uh, Bosch has two different um, series. One is green, that's for the typical homework thing and they have the blue one versus professional it's double or triple price but for a machine like this where you need to drill with where you need to just screw proper and and, and do a, a lot of other things um, I have a lot of green machines so I think it's time to change to blue good let me show you later what I'm going to buy and now I prepare the boat for, for leaving I mean, the important thing um, with the cover, it's it's done, that's good, I'm happy, that's not that bad, and I'm sad. <laughs> Maybe in between I can show you one thing. Uh, I got a complete new tool set. It's from the German company Mannesmann Brüder. Uh, not the most high quality tools, but at least everything you need on a boat, it's stainless steel, it's 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 working and it's super small so you know i try always to have things in order and that's the good part as you see it's super small that comes also now onto the boat i don't want to always get the tools from home another weekend uh just saturday uh tomorrow i don't want <laughs> it's pretty cold four degrees as you can see it's super foggy and pretty wet I finished everything which I need to buy I changed the tools now to the professional ones the blue one uh, from Bosch maybe I can link it um, where you can actually buy a better um, screwdriver the uh, tools <coughs> should be definitely better so there is a little more which I need to put on the boat I will finish the shore power today Hopefully, um, I just also get some of uh, the sliding door out. That will be a task for today and uh, for sure the bus stand, I try to remove as well by today. If not, I will do it next week. I measure a couple of things for the new LED light. That will be the tasks for today. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope <laughs> this time I have not a burning <laughs> machine again. That's that, the new tools. <clears throat> That's the battery powered uh, new Bosch Professional screwdriver. I have two batteries, some nice set, the charger. So I just keep everything clean within the box. And this is the new version. Then let's start drilling the hole. <laughs> and it's time for action. <laughs> so I need to put it 
to drilling as you see see here we can set the torch I can drill the screws I just can do the normal drilling and for sure I can do also hammer base drilling uh, we're not doing that I just do it in this way <laughs> another hole in the boat <laughs> what you not always do for show power <laughs> yeah good so let me see also how it looks like yeah so you can see it's really fine and the hole is in so now I clean it good so First, I need to open, that gets the tool ready. I need to open it so that I can build the cable first. Oh, luckily that's magnetic, the new tools. So, this seems good. So, that's also perfect. Um, you see PE here, that's the ground, and you have to face in the neutral one. Now, cutting, cutting out the cable a little. What you can see, so I need to, I need to put it anyhow here. Again, if that, it's on here. So let me see how that was stuck in, probably like this. <sighs> I'm not really happy <clears throat> because here is nothing where you can actually really tight it. Uh, never mind, even if I'm getting the rest here, there is not a lot of things in how we can really proper tie it. This is a sparing, but nothing which is good. Okay, it seals it, it seals it a little here. That is not bad, but you still need to strap it. Good. By the way, first thing, always learn the lesson, put it in first. Good. Okay, let me show you what to do and what's necessary on it. Um, you can use proper tool or if you are slightly educated, so you need to measure the length a little. It is also very important here, the PE always needs to be cut at last. If that should be plucked out for whatever reason, the PE need to stay. That's very important. So I'm now cutting it. The proper length will be around this. Yeah, that's fine. That works. And then I cut a little bit on the brown and blue one to make really the PE longer. So with a new knife, always be pretty careful and by the way <laughs> you won't believe how often I cut my fingers already always try and test because you should not hurt the aider inside what you can do is that's what I'm most likely doing like this so and then you can most likely break it proper because luckily it's a bit colder outside so it goes faster not fully I'll take the knife again there's less pressure yeah it's coming same problem here So that should work. I hope so. Yes, that will work. And uh, not fully near this side. Do not want. So you sort of flipped. Better do it carefully if you do not have the right tools. 
to get the outer part off. And here it comes. Ugh. That's really tough. <laughs> Squeeze it a little. And stretching, and it goes off. So here it is. Good, as I said, next important, PE needs to be longer. So we cut them here, that's fine. And now we need to get rid of that. <laughs> that was what it. Now we need to just get, where are they here? We need to get those um, stuff on it. Why we do it? There is one reason. So because of inside it's flex and it's not about breaking or anything. It's if there should get anything loose, especially <clears throat> on the main power, um, you could get some sparks. That's why you put always those things on. It makes it secure and that's by the way even a requirement. So that's it. The other part we could put on later. Yeah, and we are good to go. Really put it very tight and yes, it's good. Here's the screw. We got it. Now we put this back. Carefully. That's really tight. Yeah, okay, it needs to be tight because it needs to be waterproofed. Here it comes. And everything is sealed. That's fine. As I said, I don't like it, but it's fine. If you make it much more shorter, you have no space for getting the cable through the last plate. Okay, let me explain you why it's fine. Of course, we have the other seal, which I'm pulling over now. So pull it from here. And what we can see, it's waterproofed, it's watertight, it's everything good. Get this here outside well. Yes, it is. And then really push it over. Yes, so that's good. Why I did not cut the entire cable is I want to measure it and I have not enough, so I don't want to throw this, this cable. Good. From that perspective, no issue. I'm pulling everything in here. The rest, the screws are doing. 
Yeah, that's good. So I can open it. That's fine. The seal got a little bit here, so I pull it back again. Yes. So that is as expected. Yes, that's great. Uh, now I need to find some other screws because they wanted to use it with this. Also proper, um, it can. Maybe I use them so I need to drill the hole. I will do this once it's sitting here. So I'm not pulling it out. Of course that's tight enough. So let me do it. done so it's nicely it's beautiful that's the outside part it's as you can hopefully see it's super tight there is no water coming in from inside it's also fine that's how it should look like now the next part comes where we need to just get the, uh, the current breaker in and the fuse yeah fine uh, next step so next part starting i prepared already a little bit so this is actually our device where we just have the two power plugs in which are coming here so one is shorter that is for the battery charger and all the fuses are in here. So I show you, I showed you how to cable it. And um, I will bring in now first this, this, this tiny power plug. And next we'll be screwing it to the wall once it's fully cabled. And <clears throat> yeah, let me show you how to actually get the power plug. In. So we have also here, we have, um, the face, so L1 and N, and we have the PE, which is the ground. That's pretty easy. Uh, here are some clamps where we can just um, stick it in. Uh, if you press the button, you can hear, you can release it. I show you how to do this. Good, let me stick it in. So I'm starting with the PE. That comes in here so it's a little cold that's why all the cable stuck and you see it should actually fit <laughs> this is happen when it's a little short so that's number one then they have no sides which is good and yes it's the proper way you get the next one in. Ugh, this is so damn freezing cold inside. And everything which is cold is actually not good for the cable. So, in the last one. Also in. And I need to press the PE a little further. Good. That's how it looks like. And then we need to bring it back into the chassis. So that comes in here. First we press this in. Then we turn a little bit the ceiling. And that's it. Beautifully done. I'm not yet screwing it. Um, because the cover is here, the cover comes on top of this, which looks probably like that. So you have to screw it from inside. I do it soon. Since I need to stick it to the wall first, uh, I hate paper at the at the back. Hope I can remove it nicely. Oh yeah, it's actually okay because everything should be a little bit in order. I hate paper at the back. Ah. 
I still have the heater on, which is still the gas heater. Because more I can't actually get yet in. So let me remove. Okay, that's fine. Now the same actually here. So we have another seal. I need to open the seal because I need to get the cable through. So then we just put through the cable. It's always a little ugly. So I do it piece by piece. Needs to get out. So that's it. And then I fear it in here. Since it's everything a little tight. It takes some time before we can make it nicely. That's it. Next, let me show you. I need to put in the seal. When you do it during summer, everything it's a little more smooth, but it will work. I, I got in the other ones as well. So, Oh, this is so damn cold. Here it is. Nicely in. This comes below. So that's the plug, as I said, for our charger. Now it's all about cabling inside. So I need to find some of those cable. When it's here. Then I, I probably need to find the other ones. I show you that one once it's when it's ready. Course of having the video running, and <laughs> getting in, it's a little difficult. Good. Now I need to get the power together. And there's one thing I absolutely love. So I hope you can still see this and it's sharp enough. Yes. They are from Vago. I can also link them into the description. The nice part is uh, you could theoretically use it as a flex cable. You just plug them in and then you can click it. And I show you how I do this. So. Yes, I think you can see it. So here are Our powers, that's number one. I get in number two. That's in here. I click. And that's the longer one. The longer one, it's directly coming from the fuse. And that's it. So it's pretty nice. It's tight. And I love them very much because you see, it is super easy. So that's it. Now it's cabled. So let's see how it works. This one, which I need to pull in a little bit because you always need to care that those things are never happen, but that's not an issue. I just pull it a little further in. So from here, I'm going first into the um, circuit breaker. Uh, it needs to be up. On the first, you can see how it's cabled here. So it's now on and that's off. From here, um, I got the L, so the power, the potential, that's going back into this fuse. So the fuse is off and now the fuse would be on. And from this fuse, I'm going here into the Vago. Um, here's for potential and here's the neutral one. That's pretty nice, so I do not need to use them. Um, always need to care because the outer parts are up to, I guess, 16 square millimeters. And those here are up to six um, square millimeters. So I'm using those. By the way, if you see this, that doesn't matter. Um, I cramped them um, 
with this, um, we call them cable shoe, so that this is in. There is also one thing very important. Why we use those? Let me explain that one once more again. Um, the flex cable itself um, has some aiders and I want that those things are really stucking internally and if there are um, current on and you don't use them, that could be potentially dangerous because that could lead to a fire or maybe even it just starts burning a little. Um, the other thing, also very important, and I will highlight that one in the description as well, why, you, why I'm using flexible cable on a boat. Um, if you see how that is done at your installation at your home, they use um, the pure copper cable, not the flex cable like we have here. Flexible needs to be because we are moving. That means like their vibration on the boat. And if it's vibrating, um, this could actually make the cable break. If you use the flexible one, it's much more, as I said, flexible. Um, it will not break that fast and therefore it's done. Now I'm going to screw it on and show you once it's done. Yeah, it is accomplished. Here are the fuses. So you can open and plug it in. It's nicely sitting, all fine. Closed, tight. This is the power plug for battery charger. And here inside, I put another one for the laptop or heater or whatever we want to put in. So I screwed it in here nicely. Also, when you see this, that's also pretty nicely done. For sure, I need to have some cable strap and make that proper in here. So that's fine. Also, this one, as you hopefully can see, it's in a nice order. And um, yeah, here is some cable still hanging. Also, this will be strapped behind because it fits perfectly. So, when it comes here, it will be strapped. And then we have it. So, now I need to find some place for the battery charger. The charger is actually here. And, yeah, I don't know if I should put it actually there. I think this is a good part to put here. Or... Even another one would be here, so I think a side it's better. We'll see. Good. Maybe that's what I want to do for the day. And I hope I can accomplish this as well. Because then I go home, it's enough. The boat is not that big. <laughs> Meaning either or I'm too big. The boat is too small and I'm too big or I'm too big and the boat is actually right. <laughs> Let me see. Good. Uh, next step and then we see how that looks like next part is accomplished our battery charger is now built as I said I plug it in here that fits nicely so as I said here yeah let me show you um, there are small small plates which I can use so the cable tie mounts um where i can strap that one all proper in i actually bought some which i hope you can see this yeah maybe a little further away yes that should work so there is a small hole in the middle i ordered some new screws but they didn't arrive on time meaning um i'm not gluing them because that never holds and then all the cable are in order that's good so we have two different um, possibilities on how to connect the battery those will be permanently screwed in and that one I can use um, if I unscrew or however and charge at home but I think even if I'm going here during winter um, charge a couple of times the battery will even survive this temperature. Why, why it shouldn't survive a temperature of minus 10 or minus 15 degrees? If the car battery can do, for sure a battery on a boat can, as, can do as well, as long as you charge in between. And maybe if I'm here every two months, just for half a day, maybe doing some maintenance, 
or even some cleaning, then it should work. Good. Let me see if I can do something else. Uh, else, that's it for today. Uh, yeah, sure. Cleaning and making everything in order. It looks better already. 